السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Today we are going to do the second lecture which is related to structural analysis In this particular lecture we are going to learn how to do the analysis of a truss using different softwares or different software packages We are going to use mainly two software packages and the other one is going to be a gift at the end um, Mainly we are going to solve this particular this particular truss and then we are going to verify um, We are going to verify the results These results from a book the whole example is from them from a book and we are going to try to get Or try to cross check the values with the software uh, the main software that we are going to use is robot structural analysis we are going to use an end row as well for, for verification and then the last uh, software package which is going to be a gift is called something it's called trust plus or trusses plus so opening opening the robot structural analysis while clicking new there are different options which are available we need to understand the different options so building design if a person is having good architectural knowledge good command in terms of Revit CAD then building design is the best option where you don't have a lot of uh, irregular shapes in terms of shells um, 3D frame and normally we are using this one for the analysis um, this is a shell design where you can see a frame at the bottom and a shell uh, a shell at the top so this combines the building design with the volume matrix okay. volume matrix stru structure design where we are having irregular shell shapes like a water tank or a swimming pool or whatever shape is okay so this combines the building design with the volume matrix um, trusses 3d trusses 2d relic design for a TV. Uh, 2d frame analysis slab design wall bearing or load bearing uh, analysis uh, we have uh, rc design element design so <coughs> designing a beam column foundation and then connection design for steel elements um, section definitions so the software is having built up it's having its own database in terms of sections but if you want to define a section uh, a new section and then you can define it from here so it will be added in the database um, param parameterized or parametric uh, design where we are having uh, fixed shapes from the software we can play directly with the with the dimensions uh, so we we'll get um, the results accordingly so we don't need in this particular module we don't need to go and redesign the whole module from the beginning to the end only what we need to do we need to input the parameters and accordingly the software will go and change them it's like a built-in uh, structure where you can change the modules and then we have excess symmetric which is if you have a symmetrical shape uh, like for example um, uh, a minaret or uh, a doom plane deformation structure this is when when you are trying to analyze a big structure in this particular big structure uh, the small components are acting exactly or almost similar to the other part um, the other component which is something example something closer to a dam so we cannot go and model the whole dam from the beginning to the end so what we can do we can take a certain portion from that particular dam and apply the stresses and we can uh, analyze that particular portion now for our for our uh, for our uh, session we are going to use trusses and the 2d one since our trusses are 2d if we go and see if we go and see we can see that the trusses are 2d truss okay now we need to go and understand just close this one but we need to go and understand this particular uh, we need to go and understand this particular trust 
Now at the beginning, I need to understand that there are coordinates that I need to deal with. So this is going to be zero in terms of x. This is going to be five. This is going to be 10. This is going to be 15. This is going to be 20. In terms of y, this is going to be zero and this is going to be four. Okay. So at the beginning, we'll go to the software. We'll tell the software. Now, if you are installing the software for the first time, you can see that it's uh, it's in feet actually, since it's an American based software. What we can do, we can go for tools, job references, and then assign it to be metric. Okay. Okay, and then save current parameters as default, and then okay. Now going for the truss, we can go for access definition. Now, in terms of x, we say that we are having uh, 0, 5, 10, 15, 20. How many points are there? We can go and visualize. There are 5 points. 0, 5, 10, 15, and then 20. So either I can write them as 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, one by one. Or what we can say, we can say the starting position is 0 number of repetition for each distance is 5 meters since each and every distance is 5 meters so add we can see that all the points came z how many points in z we have 0 and then we have four. so 0 and then we have 4 so we can have 0 and then we have 4 ok we can change here if it's 1 2 3 and the numbering system we can change this one too ABC and then apply. So this is the this is the typical method of and this is the typical uh, method of analyzing a truss. We can go and choose a bar, any type of a bar for the analysis, since we don't care about the self weight of the element for the meantime. Okay. So we need to go and draw. We can use we can draw from this point to this point. This is the first element. You can see that I need to start once again from the first point to the second point or I can click on drag where the first point is already defined I need to click on the second point only and then once again here go ahead here 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 now since nothing is continuous we can remove the drag visualizing so we need to do this particular element, this particular element, this one, this one, and this one. There are five elements there. So one element from here to here, another element from here to here, and then a third element from here to here. And then we have this element and this element. So from here to here, and then we have it from here to here. Okay. Now by doing by doing this thing, by doing this thing, we can we can visualize that we have we have drawn our we have drawn our process how many bars are there there are 30 so if we go and count one two or one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and the 13 13 members are there okay. now the next step is assigning a support so we can go for the support we can see there is fixed and there is pin so I'll just click on the pin for the meantime. You can see that this is a pin support. This is the role of support. So for the pin support, I click on it. Go to joint number one, click on it. You will see that the pin support is coming here. <coughs> now for the for the roller, I don't have a roller. But what we can do, we can identify or we can define a new support. So we'll call it as roller. And we know that roller is only taking the vertical direction. You can see the horizontal direction is x, while the vertical direction is z. So I'll keep only z. <coughs> so now I have roller, and then this roller to be put in joint number five. Now you can see I have um, I have a pin support on the left. I have uh, a roller support on the on the right side. The last step is applying the forces. Okay. So going to the forces, we need to go and apply the force. So click on the load types at the beginning. We need to identify the load. Now at the beginning, 
you will see that this is coming to be a red color okay this is coming in red color and the meaning of this is that the software is calculating the self weight directly now i remove the self weight later on since we don't require to calculate the software as the self weight now going to uh, the load definition after we identify that we have uh, we have uh, that load then we, we need to specify the value so going for the load that's number one i want the load to be on a node or a bar no i want the i want it to be on a node so i'll click on node <coughs> is it in x direction horizontal or is it in the z direction no my forces according to the questions are uh, according to the question are vertical ones so they are in the going to uh, the downward direction so this is going to be in the negative z so i'll just click on negative and the values are 30 and 60 so I'll start with the 30 click here i'll see a 30 are available in this particular point this particular point so here we are going to have the 30 here we are going to have the other 30 once again we need to click on the nodal force changing from 30 to 60 now add and then we are adding it in this point now you might not see uh, the values you might not see the values now to verify them or to see them you can click on load simple with the value you will see that right color is still appearing because of the circuit and then we see the 30 60 and 30 for the self weight what we can do we can go for loads load table remove remove the self weight from there by clicking on or by pressing the delete button on the on the keyboard so now you can see that we have only three forces 30 60 and 30 in the downward, downward direction of z now after we finish we can remove or we can hide the load sample by clicking on by clicking on the load symbol here the last step is going to be analyzing so no errors are there you can go for results map phone bars and then click on fx which is representing the compression intention and then we can have it, it's showing you what are the what are the compression what are the tension portions so you can see the yellow color is representing the tension while the Red and the yellow color is representing the tension while the red color is representing the compression to see the values we can go for parameters from here npm is representing normal torsion and moment parameters and then we can go to a text apply so we can see that there are certain values here so if we go and verify taking for example joint number a in joint number a we have a b and then we have AH. So AB according to the solution is 96 and then AH is 75. So if we go to our software, you can see that AB is 96 and then uh, 75 is going to be uh, AH. Now keep in mind that the software is giving the negative for the tension and the positive value for the compression, which is a sign convention. Okay, so that's the sign convention used by the software. Going for the second joint, joint number B. Now in joint number B, there are three forces, BC, BH. So we have, this is going to be joint number, joint number B. We have 75 and we have 60. So this is already defined, we have got it. This is 75, which is in, uh, which is in compression. And then we have 60, which is in tension. So you can see 75 in compression, 60 in tension and then we can go for joint G joint G is going to be this particular joint okay, so going to the software we can see that this is going to be 60 112.5 112.5 so going to G um, so we can get FG to be 112.5 CF uh, which is going to be 48 so C, uh, C and F, this is, this is CF. So returning back to the software, we can visualize that this is 48. 
um, 75, 60, 75, and 96, which is by symmetry uh, on the other side. Uh, as well, H is there. Uh, if we go to H, saying, uh, saying H here, you can see that there are four forces one which is AH, BH, CH, and then we have GH. Going to the software, you can see that 75, 60, 48, and then 111.5, 112.5. So going here, you can visualize that it's going to be 48, and then 112.5. So 48 and 112.5. So 48 and 112.5. Taking in mind that 1675 were identified in previous uh, joints as well. Okay. So this is a this is a time-consuming method in which we are uh, in which we are getting the the values. It will take certain amount of time. Now, in order for me to faster the work, we can use the library which is available in the robot structure software itself. Now what I can do, uh, I'll go and take all the elements here. Okay. And then we can go for edit, copy. I'm just doing this one to, uh, to visualize the difference between the, the, dabber in the library or the automatic generator of the trust and the manual that we have done right now. So we need to go and delete the it's not appearing. Let it be. Okay. We'll go and use since we have already identified these particular uh, these particular forces, what we can do, we can go and delete everything. We can go and use uh, library structure which is available already in the software now different things are there so library means the structure is built you need to put only the parameters so library structure you can see different different numbers continuous beam frames uh, shell or let's say uh, a warehouse uh, bottle frame different types of process so I'm going to use this particular shape which is representing my shape of the truss so this shape different things are there so it asks me like what's the length number one which is the total length so according to this question the total length is 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5, plus 5 is 20 so the total length is 20 and then it asks me for length number two, which is the top length. So the top length is five plus five, that's ten. Height, the height has been given as four. Number of fields, how many fields are there? So field number one, field number two, field number three, and then field number four. So four fields are there. This is an important point, which is continuous code. We want this particular element, the code, to be one element, or we want it to be AH separately, and then GH, then GF, then FE. So no, we require it to be we require it to be non-continuous. Moment releases, yes. This is a very important point that you need to take into account. Do you want the first diagonal to be up or down? Now, in this particular uh, in this particular example. The diagonal is going. The diagonal is going up. Okay, the diagonal is going up. So I'll just show you uh, what's the difference between diagonal going up or diagonal going down. Uh, let Let's keep. Let's keep it. Let's keep it in this way now. Okay. Now next. Next. Now you can input. You can input to, uh, as well the sections. Now we don't require since the self weight is not going to be taken into account. Okay, 
now we can see that this particular this particular truss this particular truss has came in the picture okay this particular truss has came in the picture um, now you can see these diagonals are coming uh, they are coming down rather than going up they are going down rather than going up from here so uh, if we go and take this particular truss for example moving it from this particular joint to let's say this particular joint okay deleting this particular one going for the library once again so library inputting all the parameters as whatever we have done 20 10 and then half is 4 4 non continuous and then diagonal up this diagonal is going up and then we can click on uh, apply okay so you can see the difference here this particular diagonal is going up while this particular diagonal is going down and you can see each element has been given a certain uh, uh, over its non-continuous code and it has been divided into certain elements now what we can do as well uh, we can have uh, we can have another shoot. Let's say that I want to uh, experience the continuous code. So I'll take this one, move it rather than copying it, bring it from here to here, for example. Okay. Now, going for the library once again, choosing the same type. Uh, first diagonal going up, 20 is the total length. Then is the top length, and then we have height is 4, number of things is 4, and then this is kept as a continuous code. And then we can click on apply and then click on it. Now you will see this particular element, this particular element has been taken fully as one element rather than taking it in, uh, rather than taking it in uh, as separate elements. And we can visualize and see the difference between, between the results. Let me try to bring this particular one here. Copy the name. So from this point to single here. Okay. Now applying the support. Uh, roller is applied here, here, and here. And paint is applied here here and here and then we need to put we need to input the forces so we can go for that load it has been already identified or defined nodes we are going for the nodes minus 60 okay so add i want minus 60 to be here minus 60 to be here and then minus 60 to be here okay so three minus 60s and then we can go for minus 30 Now going to apply the 30, so 30 is applied here, okay, apply. 30 is applied here, 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 and here, okay. Now remember to remove the self weights from there. So going for the loads, load table, uh, self weight has been deleted and you can see that the first two loads are not applied to any particular uh, joint. So these two can be removed since nothing is there in the list. The list is representing the, uh, the applied uh, joint or element. Okay. So we have our structure carefully now it will show you separate structures since nothing is connected okay now what we can see uh, what we can see we can see now the results for each one of them and you can see the behavior how it's changing um, now you can see that this is this one uh, each one of them is different from from the other one uh, here 
three of them, I mean, the green color, three of the elements are uh, are acting as uh, uh, zero force members. Here in this particular example, uh, which is the one that we are using, it's representing exactly whatever we have done. So 75, uh, this 75 is representing the reaction. So 75 here, 75. And then we have uh, 112, 16, 96, 17. And you can see all the results that we have got. Uh, all the results we have got earlier. Uh, we have got them. We have got them here as well. Okay. So 75, 96. So 96 and then 75. Um, this is going to be 75, 48. Once again, we have got it to be uh, 48. So this is uh, this is robot structural analysis using the regular method and using the library. The differences between them, uh, how they will differ from each other. Okay. Um, going for the second software. Going for the second software that is. Um, that is Lingo. Now, for Lingo, uh, it's a very simple uh, software that does not do uh, a design of uh, design of elements. It's only it's only for the analysis. Basically, um, the first thing we need to do for Lingo is going to set up the what we call the drawing. Uh, or the grids, the drawing panel or the grids. So we go for define the grids. Now let's let's say let's say space and grids in terms of x minus five meters apart. So I can put it to be five meters, and then the total my my stress width is twenty. So I can keep this one to be thirty, for example. And then in terms of y, my my grid is four. So I can keep it to be four, and then keep this one to be, for example, twelve. This is the most important thing, which is the spacing for your grid in terms of x and in terms of y, which is the height. So, okay. Now you can see that this is zero. So if I go and apply a point here, this is going to be zero, and then a point in five, another point in ten, another point in fifteen, another point in twenty, and then we need to have a point in fifteen, point in ten, and then a point in five. For the top portion so the bottom is 20 meter the top portion is 10 meter after we identify the points we we'll go for the bar from here we create a bar from here we create a joint so we need to go from 0 to 7 7 to 6 6 to 5 5 to 4 4 to 3 3 to 2 then 2 to 1 and then 1 to 0 okay now, this will be continuing with you, so what you can do is clicking on, uh, for example, pointer. So now I need to draw another line here. I click from here, going from 7 to 1. Escape once again can be done. Or going for, once again, uh, pointer. And then here, from 5 to 3. And then we can have from 6. Now going, we need to check. Our uh, our truss, so we are having one here, and then another one here, and then once again for the pointer, and then from six to I'm going from six to two. Okay, now you can see you can see that I have drawn I have drawn my truss. Okay, I have drawn my truss. The remaining thing is to draw the or to assign the supports. So going for the supports, I have joint zero and then I have joint number four. So joint number zero, I'm going to assign it as a ruler uh, or a hinge. Sorry. So that's going to be R X and R Y. And then for joint number four, I'm going to assign only a vertical support. That's going to be a, a as a roller support okay so we have a hinge and we have a, a roller support here 
and then we go we go for the courses okay we go for the courses so for so for the loads we can go from here or we can click on load mass so going for the loads now point loads I need to specify the value so it's in vertical direction so it's in Y so minus 30 we define minus 30 and then we define another one which is minus 60 so two point loads we have defined the first one which is minus 30 will be applied on joint or node node number one and then node number three so we assign it so you can see loads coming on nodes one and three and then we can go for second load which is 60 and then once again we now we can go and put it in node number two and then assign it so first I need to define the load check or choose the nodes and then assign the load so three three loads have been assigned click on ok run the calculation uh, now you can see that this is representing the bending moment uh, for the truss which is not required shear force and normal okay uh, which is representing the axial forces and you can see uh, the forces now uh, how they are coming so around 95.4 seven around 74.5 which is 75 and 96 on robot around 58 or 59 here so the results are close to robot but it's not as accurate as robot and manual calculation okay but uh, it can do the uh, it can do the uh, approximated values and once again it can show you the the deflection and you can for, for accurate deflection you need to specify the materials so you can get appropriate deflections and then the reaction as well okay now this is for Lenvo it's a very simple software that's normally used for 2d frames for beams process it will show you approximate values and it's a it's a good simple software that does not require a lot of um, um, a lot of work it does not require a very huge or a very powerful computer like for example robot now the last software which was a gift is called as trusses plus and this is trusses plus now one of the one of the impressive one of the impressive uh, truss softwares is called trusses plus it has certain limitations I'll be, I'll be mentioning them now uh, there are different types of trusses are there uh, these are built in now you need to identify how many panels you require for example so five panels it will directly it will directly shift to be five panels I need to choose uh, for example the length to be 25 the height is one or oh, let's let's keep the height for example to be uh, four it will tell you for example that the dimension ratio which is uh, suggested for this particular truss should be in the range of 130 to uh, 110 that's uh, that's a limitation on the software so it has certain limitations that you cannot you, you cannot play with so for example having it as two now it's fine we can specify uh, the different grades you can choose the different type of material okay and you can uh, have different uh, you can have different uh, what you call it, different materials as well it's showing you lower core the, uh, the upper core and the bracings and then um, partial factor factor of safeties of course this will be designed according to the to the euro codes but you can specify for example if you are having a, uh, if you are having a, a bs code or any other code you can specify the values here according to your requirements loads once again you can have uh, UDL loads so this one is a UDL so you can see it's 0.25 I can go and change it for example to 0.5 that's going to be changed automatically 0.4 improved snow load wind load and then you can apply once again uh, concentrated load so for example I can either uh, select all of them so all the points or I can select a node so for example this node this node 
you can select whatever nodes you want the same thing for the queue which is representing live load so this is the live load this is the dead load okay and then after after you finish from here from the loads you can go for the analysis and then we can click on uh, optimize now do you want it to be the same or different sections so the software will will try to figure out the best options for you so we can have different uh, sections for example so it it tells you like uh, which section what's the maximum value what's the check and then um, this is the ULS SLS is here as well so the verification actual forces if you want to see the actual forces by loops okay so the permanent load how much is the actual forces you can show the you can show the the compression and tension as well and you can get you can get the report at the end so a detailed sheet you can open it by Adobe or PDF and you can see uh, you can see uh, full details uh, about your uh, uh, full details about your what you call uh, full details about your trust what all the things are there which are there what the values all the tables which are required now um, this particular this particular software is very good uh, it's a practical software the only problem with it that uh, it comes with fixed shapes uh, uh, you cannot change as far as I know you cannot change the shape, shapes you cannot uh, delete uh, some of the members that you don't require them or add certain members uh, if you are going to use one of these members I mean one of these types of process then this is going to be a very good uh, software for you thank you very much for uh, for being interested in today's lecture hopefully we are going to have more lectures in the coming days thank you very much